Hello, welcome to Geospatial Developers. So in this video, we are going to learn how to install GeoServer on our Windows machines. So there are three ways in installing GeoServer on our machines. So for the purpose of this video, we are going to take one and I will make two other videos to um, illustrate how to install using those um, other um, ways. So to do that, let's quickly go to our GeoServer website. So I'll just Google GeoServer. Okay, yeah. So this is the official website, GeoServer.org. You click on GeoServer. Then we'll go to documentation. Then we'll go to user manual. Then we'll click on installation. Yeah, so we will we'll be using here as a guide. So as it, it mentions, um, there is a warning here. Joseph requires a Java 8 or 11 environment to install on your system. Yeah, so they've given us a link, two different links um, to get the Java installed. Yeah, so in order for it to run, as mentioned, we need Java 8 or 11. So let's click on, um, I prefer the open, the adopt open JDK. Yeah, so when you click on it, then um, automatically oh, yeah, the 11 will be selected. If you also need, you, 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 you want, you prefer using the 8, you can also do that. But for the purpose of the illustration, I'm going to use the 11. So I'll click on this button, which will lead me to the Adoption website. Okay, so we have our versions for different platforms uh, listed here. So depending on the type of system you are using, if you are using Mac, you can download. If you are using Linux, you can. But we are using Windows for this video. so. And I'll be the Windows version, um, sorry, the 64 bits. If your machine is 32 bits, you have to download this version. So, 64 bits, I'll click on the MSI to get the download. Okay, so our file has been downloaded. Um, let's go to the folder okay so that's our file so you double click on this to install it as any other uh, software so you click on next next and install yeah it's as easy as that you just need three clicks and you're good to go so i'll click on yes Okay, so our installation is done. I'll click on finish. So in order for you to confirm that your Java is installed, you can go to your terminal. So I'll just come into my terminal and you just have to type Java then space hyphen version. Then you should have the version so you can see what we installed was um, version 11.0.15 so that's the version we installed yeah so i think with this we are good to go to install our geo server so let's go back to our website the official website for geo server and download our so we are going to use the Windows installer for this video. So click on Windows installer, then uh, we'll click on your server download page. Okay, then we will click on the stable version. That's version 2.21.0. Um, 
you click on it, then you have the three packages, different versions of your server installation files that we can. So we have the binary, which I'll do a video on that, and there is a web archive, I'll also do a video on that. But for this illustration, we'll be using the Windows installer. So when you click on Windows installer, it will download the file for you. Yeah, so if you pick it up. Yeah. Okay, so our file has been downloaded. And then we can now open the file. Okay. So it's asking for information. Yes. Right. So this is our QC server installer. We just have to click on next. Yes. You read the agreements, the license agreements. Yes, I agree. Then over here. Some of you might not, your, your system might not automatically detect the part of the Java. So in order to do that, you can manually go in there and select the part since Java is already installed. So you come to browse, then you come to your drive C, then under your drive C, you come to your program files, then under the program files, you navigate to Eclipse Adultium. Adoptium. Then you select the version of Java you installed. I already have the version 8 installed on my machine. That's why you're having two folders here. But you should see just this version. So you just have to select the folder and just click on OK. Yeah, then you are good to go. So I'll click on Next. Then the destination folder, yeah, I'll keep it as default. When a folder name, I'll keep it as default. I'll click on next. Click on next. Then over here, this will be the default username and password to the Geo server that you've installed. So if you want to alter this username and password, you can do that. But for the purpose of this illustration, I'm going to leave it as such. Then I'll go to next. Then this is the port that your server will be running on, port 8080. If you have any software on your machine that you know that is running on port 8080, in order not to interfere with that software, you can um, give it a different port for it to run on it. Yeah. So defaultly, we will keep it as 8080. Click on next. Then we use the recommended settings that install as a service. I click on next and click on install. Install as a service. I click on next and click on install. So else, uh, Joseph is installing. Um, the purpose of this um, whole setup is to get GeoServer installed on our machine. So we will use that in our GeoSpatial development. Okay, so our GeoServer is installed now. So we'll just click on finish. Then we'll come to our start menu and go to J or you can search for Geo server and come to the Geo server folder and I'll just click on start Geo server so when I start the Geo server I have to come into my browser and just type in localhost port 8080 that's localhost colon 8080 slash Geo server and your Geo server should run or you can use the port um, you can also use um, that's 217 
1.0.0.1 as the IP for localhost, you can also use that port 8080 slash server that should also run for you. Yeah, so we have our Geo server installed, and if you want, if you want to enter the Geo server, you have to use the username and password I spoke about during the installation. So I'll just enter mine in there. Then uh, I'll just click on login. So this is our Geo server, and this is what we are going to use for our subsequent uh, tutorials. So at this point, um, we are good to go um, with our Geo server uh, software. So in the next video, I'm going to illustrate how to use Geo, um, uh, how to install Geo server using the binary package, or and the other video will be installing Geo server using the web archive package. So I hope this helps um, you. Um, stay tuned.